Good day, greetings. Welcome to another lesson. In today's lesson, we focus on Euclidean geometry. So the, the scenario reads as follows in the diagram below. Angle E is equal to 2x. Angle C1 is equal to 75 degrees. Angle C2 is equal to 2x minus 15 degrees. And angle B2 is equal to 135 degrees. So the first question says determine the value of x. So I want us to pay attention to B2 which is 135 degrees and I want us to see that it's an exterior angle to these two angles. If we have a look at this triangle, triangle B, C, E and we extend it we can see that this angle here is an exterior angle to the two interior opposite angles. And we know the exterior angle B2 should equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles for a given triangle. So now we can substitute B2 is 135 degrees is equals to E which is 2x plus C1 is 75 degrees. Takes, taking C1 to the other side we have 2x is equals to 135 degrees minus 75 degrees. So 2x is equal to 60 degrees, divide both sides by 2, therefore x should be equal to 30 degrees. So the next question says, determine if EF is parallel to GH, motivate your answer. So one way to show that EF is parallel to GH is to prove that angle B2 and angle C2 are co-interior angles. That is, their sum adds up to 180 degrees. So let's see if this is true. So B2, angle B2 plus C2 is equal to 135 degrees plus 2x minus 15 degrees. So this is 135 degrees plus 2 into 30 minus 15 degrees. So this is equal to... 135 degrees plus 60 degrees minus 15 degrees. So 135 minus 15 is equal to 120 degrees plus 60. And this is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore P2 plus C2 are co-interior angles. And this implies that EF is parallel to GH. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.